Hello, welcome back. DJ Vic Vapor with you. Continuing on, Bitwig Studio 2. Uh, beginner's course. Um, just taking a look at uh, some of the features. So this is a tutorial or lesson four, I believe. So we took a look at getting uh, clips launched over into our clip launchers and um, playing those and auditioning those and understanding that. So let's talk a little bit about adding another clip. So another audio clip. So I want to add another audio clip. So I can come over here just like we had before and I can go through the menu here and select and do whatever I need to do. Or I can select this empty clip slot right here since that's where I want to add it and hit the letter B on my keyboard. It's a shortcut, letter B, and it'll bring up this menu here. It's a contextual menu as far as what I'm working with, and it's showing me audio samples. So now I can go back into my Beatport folder, and I can select another audio clip or audio loop to bring in. So let's select something uh, Electro House. And I'll just kind of play this guy and say, yeah, that sounds good. We'll work with that. So now I don't have to drag this over and drop it because I'm already in the clip. I simply select OK and it'll add it for me right here. So now we've got our first clip and our second clip. I can launch the first one. And the second one. So you can only play one at a time within the uh, same track. You can only play one audio clip at a time in the same track. So you noticed when I launched the second one, not only did it come in on beat at the next available bar, but it stopped the previous clip. So it's important to understand that. But let's take a look at how we could play those together as an eight bar loop. And one of the ways we could do that is by recording it into our timeline. So in order to record into the timeline, what I want to do is come up here and select my record button. So I'm going to first select the square. And that'll stop both of these clips from being played. So square stops both of these clips in this uh, track line. We'll hit record. And nothing's going to happen yet. It's waiting for me to launch a clip. So I'll launch this clip. It'll play four bars. And then I'll launch the second one. And it'll play its duration. And we'll hit stop. But when I launch the second one, watch where I'm at in the um, timeline, because I'll launch it just before the end of the fourth bar, allowing this one to come in on the right beat. So what I did there was I hit stop button twice to set, reset myself at the beginning of the uh, timeline. So double clicking stop. So if I'm out here, I just double click stop, and it takes me back to the beginning. All right, so record. We'll launch the first clip, and you'll see the recording take place over here. All right, so there we stopped it, but you see the playhead still going through the timeline. And it's still essentially set to record, although we're not recording anything. It's waiting for me to hit the overall stop button up here, which I'll do now. And we'll double double click it and bring us back to the first uh, front part there. So now we've got both clips recorded into our timeline in an eight bar loop. But you can see it's kind of grayed out here and we're not really seeing anything. And if I hit play, we're not able to hear anything either. So I hit the space bar on my keyboard there to activate the playhead. So how do we listen to this? What are we going to do? Um, the way we do that is these little guys right here next to this audio track will activate that specific track. Now we've activated our timeline information and recording and kind of deactivated our clips. So if we had more than one audio event or more than one track to listen to, we would simply select the one up top here, but I selected the one specific to this track. So now when we hit play, we're hearing the uh, newly recorded audio events right here within our timeline. 
So pretty easy stuff. And I think that will do it. We'll go ahead and uh, move on to the next tutorial and take a uh, more detailed look at our mix panel. So, all right.